friends today what we are going to do is we are going to draw a bug playground so let's see the supplies that we need we need markers we need crayons we need half a sheet of paper um, and I have an eraser and a pencil with me okay I'm also going to use my whiteboard to practice draw first so let's get into the lesson so uh, first let's talk about uh, something that we are going to do today so today what we're going to do is we are going to show depth in our picture we have done that before but we haven't talked about it so how will you show depth or space in the picture that's what we are going to do depth space or distance to show that there are different techniques artists use one technique that use is overlapping so um, suppose this is the paper and i'm going to draw a square and a circle does this look like um it is uh there is any depth in the picture or any distance you can see in the distance no but when i do this Does it look like there is more depth in this picture? Which uh, shape is in the front and which shape is in the back? Did you say square? Yes, you are right. Square is in the front and the uh, circle looks like it is in the back. So this is one way you can show depth. If it is both circles, still you can do that. Can you see the depth? So that is one way of showing uh, depth in the picture. So other ways you will learn uh, in the next year. Okay. So today's project, what we are going to do is we are going to draw, as I said, a bug, bug playground, right? So I'm going to use my paper. I'm going to put the paper in the landscape style. And then first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some grass blade, blades. So for that, I'm going to start from the bottom of my paper. I'm going to draw a curvy line because the grass is not standing up straight like this. And then I'm going to make another line, imitate this line. And from this point, I'm going to make it come down like that. Can you see? So I'm going to draw another grass blade so this time I'm going to overlap so when I reach this blade I'm going to jump over and then continue on the other side now I'm going to imitate this line and then when I reach here I'm going to jump over now imitate this line so the second grass blade now let's make another one any way you want to draw you can draw let the line go like that the way you want okay i'm going to imitate the first line so imitating is the tough part now i'm going to have draw another grass blade oh so this when i'm overlapping i need to jump see so in case you drew the line you can erase it right now and then I'm going to imitate the line again, this line. I'm going to draw another line. Imitate. So I have enough grass blades now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set this aside and I'm going to show you guys 
some ways we can draw the insects simple insects so what is one insect that you can think of i'm going to think of a draw a caterpillar so simplest way to draw caterpillars is draw circles it became a big caterpillar right if you don't want it to be this long maybe you can erase off some lines so we have a caterpillar now let's draw a ladybug so draw a circle and make a t maybe at the spots eyes and the antenna okay now b a oval shape a wing another way because it's a transparent wings you can almost see through or if you don't want you can just erase this one like that let's add this a small v like thing that is the part which it stings with the mouth the stripes and the antenna okay uh, uh, let me show you another way you can draw the ladybug like that okay a butterfly so, like that then a wing another wing eyes antenna if you want it to be stripey stripe maybe circles whatever you want you can do it okay let's draw an ant the head the body and the ants okay um a snail draw this part spirally part okay then let's like that hmm. so i think this is enough of uh or a simple worm Oh, a spider. Okay, so we have a few examples of bugs that you can draw. I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to add all these insects that we learned, okay? Let me draw a butterfly here. Maybe a snail here. Okay. 
then maybe some make fire ants or black ants let's have a bee you don't have to draw all these if you want to draw all this that is also fine Then what? A warm. Spider. Web. It's inside the web. <laughs> no. So we have a lot of um, things. So let's color these fellows. And then we'll color the I think it should have been hanging out of the web. Mm, that's okay. You guys would be thinking, why did Mrs. J put the spider inside its own web that's because I didn't think much I was not thinking that's what happened when you don't think and do things What color should be the worm? Butterfly. Maybe orange and yellow. I'm just using whatever color I feel like using. You can use any color you want, okay? Warm. I'm going to put... Green warm. The caterpillar, maybe yellow and green. Spotty caterpillar. Hmm. The 
spider. So now what is remaining is to color the grass blades. So I'm going to take my crayons. Um, maybe I'll use my marker and add details to the grass blades and then I will do that. So I'm going to When you look at the grass blades you could be you'll be able to see this lines that add texture to it i'm going to now outline my grass Okay, so next I'm going to take the green and then I'm going to color in the grass blades. See that you stay within the lines, don't be in a hurry. I'm going to take the light green. I'm going to go over that. See that you color the whole thing, then only it will look nice, right? In case you are tired doing the thing and you can't color anymore, take a break, come back and then finish your project, okay? I know you guys can do an awesome job. I'm going to take the black crayon and then slightly color the head and the wings. Then on the ground, I'm just In the, in the spaces I'm just going to color lightly with brown maybe I'll add a line like that and above that line this is the horizon line that is where the sky meets the ground I'm going to take blue and color the sky The sky, when you're coloring the sky, you don't have to apply that much pressure because it needs to be light. So I'm just putting it on the side like that. See how I'm holding the crayon? And then color that. And with that, we are done with our today's project. Did you guys have fun doing this um, 
bug playground with me i would like to see how this turned out for you guys so can you take a picture of your finished work and email me email me that in the email address and that i'm putting at the end of the video with your name room number and your school names so till we meet next time bye bye